Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a 1990s upper deck rip. Actually, I'm going to cut it with scissors. I'm going to show you some of my uh, card show finds. I'm going to go ahead and move. We'll save the rip for last. But I'm going to show you some of my um, hauls at the latest card show. Nothing expensive. These were, uh, I'll kind of give you roundabout prices, what I paid. But the first one I'm going to show you is a 1968 Felix Mion, Atlanta Braves, second base, a Puerto Rican player. A very cool looking card, has a uh, fielding. That was probably $1. I just liked it. He's a Puerto Rican player. Uh, it's an older card. It looked like it was in excellent condition. And I actually remember him playing as a kid. So that's Felix Mion. Then I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to go 2015 Mike Trout. California Angels. You all know Mike Trout. Who doesn't? I believe I picked that card up for $3. Then I'm going to show you a, a throwback card uh, of Scott Pesednik. Autograph, too. Autograph card. Scott Pesednik, 2005 Chicago White Sox World Champion, Scott Pesednik. Um, stolen base extraordinaire. Guy knew how to get on base. Loved watching this guy play, but it's an auto card. So I, that's one of the first autograph cards I actually have. Then I'm going to share, a, a, I believe it's a 2013, I'm not 100% sure, Carlos Zambrano, Zambrano, pitcher, autograph card as well. And for that Scott Pesednik, I think I paid $7 for that card, autographed. And on this Carlos Zambrano, I paid $7 for this card, autographed. Um... I actually got to see Carlos Zambrano when he came into Minute Maid Park to play the Astros. He pitched against Roy Oswalt opening day, standing room only. Carlos Zambrano versus Roy Oswalt. It was a great pitching matchup, and I enjoyed it. Then I'm going to share you a famous American Chipper Jones garment card. Chipper Jones and his maybe a piece of his pants or jersey. I'm not sure, but... I think that was a couple of dollars. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe five bucks. Then I'm going to show you a card that I, I know I vastly overpaid. It was a limited print run of 468. It's Christian Javier when he struck out over 13 players over seven innings. And I did pay $20 for that card. A limited number. Uh, if you guys have any thoughts on that, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I bought him because he's a Houston Astro. The guy was super nice that uh, owned the cards, uh, owned the uh, booth at the card show. But I did pay twenty dollars, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, tell you I didn't. And then I'm gonna show you a really clean and crisp card. I, I don't think I paid more than a dollar for this card. So this makes up for that. It's a 72 batting leaders, Rod Crew, American League, Twins, and Billy Williams, Chicago Cubs, 72 batting leaders. Really clean card, okay? So I'm gonna show you my last card. I think I paid five dollars for this card, rookie Jordan Alvarez. Very chrome, very uh, sparkling card. I, I like it. Uh, I think I paid five dollars for the Jordan Alvarez, Jordan Alvarez. And now we're gonna get into the rip. I'm gonna have to cut it with scissors. I'm not good at opening these, so here we go. I don't want to cut the cards. I. And I, of course, I didn't cut them deep enough. Let's see what we have in this. Let's see. I'm going to read them off to you. Opened up the pack. First card we have out of the shoot. It's the Chicago Cubs. Carlos Martinez. 
Doyle Alexander. God, that guy must have pitched for 30 years. Doyle Alexander. I, I believe I remember him with the name Angels. Lisa Z. It's Detroit Tigers card there for you. Then we got Steve Lake. Philadelphia Phillies. Don Carmen, Philadelphia Phillies. So far, nobody special. Kevin Ritz. Looks like he's 14 years old. Robin Ventura. I'm going to say Robert, Robin Ventura. You guys remember him with his uh, when he met Nolan Ryan on the mound. Didn't come out too good for Robin. Then we got Brian Fisher. Never heard of him. No disrespect ne needed. Then we got Rolando Rooms. Never heard of him either. Then we got George Bell, the Toronto Blue Jay slugger. Now we got Dick Schofield. Pete Harnish later became a Houston Astro, had some good years with the Astros. Then we got a Chicago White Sox 3D. Oh, now we got the big unit, Randy Johnson. There we go, Randy Johnson. Look at that good looking card. Is he 6'9", 6'10", Randy Johnson? Now we got Dennis Eckersley. Remember him more as a Cardinal? Blowing a couple of, blowing the World Series. Then we got Kevin McReynolds. And then we're going to end it on a great string of uh, the late, great Kirby Puckett. Pretty pleased with that. Between the Kirby Puckett and the big unit, Randy Johnson. You got to love that uh, rip. So guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do us a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. If you have another channel, I'll definitely subscribe back to you. So guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments and we'll catch you on the next video.